I guess scanning, this is going to help me make it. This is what I was holding off on before I went and built a base. And I guess we found it. And welcome back to Subnautica, where today I'm going to be trying to go out, get the life pod from the other day. I think it was this life pod 19, right? We're going to check out that guy. Um, it seems like that's the next one that progresses the story somewhat, is once we investigate life pod 19 because it seems like as we go to the life pods it progresses the story kind of like directing us and where we're supposed to go and all that so i feel like that'd be a ne nice next step so to prepare for that i need to get some water um i do, do believe i have the health though is it the food bars up in the the bin up in the life pod. We'll go grab those. Um, essentially, we're going to be taking the sea moth over there. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to dive down deep enough, but from what I understand, this what is it? That's over in the area, like a sh the shallow reef. Um, I have found a map of basically what is. Why is everything sparking in here again? Done sparking. Thank you. Now, it's in an area kind of like the reef. Uh, here, it's, I have to hit the tab button. Uh, spar sparse reef. Now, I believe that is exactly where it is. Uh, I can pull up destroyed life pod wreckages and look. Now, yeah, no, he. That's the one we're going to. It's the sparse reef area. Yes, I have found a map as well that tells me all the areas. Um, does not show me, like, certain areas, such as... Oh, wait, there's islands? Spoilers. I'm just going to have it set to biomes right now. Uh, but there, apparently there's two islands. I just showed myself that. Great. Uh, but yeah, where's my Seamoth? There you are. Why do I feel like it, that... For some reason, I didn't. S I've never seen like the sea moth icon before until just now. But yeah. Anyways, this should be a pr fairly simple day. Now, what I'd like to get today as well is one of those battery chargers for all my tools. That'd be perfect, right? Then I could go charge them all up, not have to worry about all that. Um, I've had to make ba extra batteries to power certain things. So I really, really should probably focus on that. Now, we're going to be heading out over the red kelp forest here. Is that a... No, that's not a life pod. That's too small. I think that's a piece of a bioreactor. Um, yeah, this should be the sparse reef area. Reef backs over there. Those guys are actually pretty awesome, apparently. Um, you got to be careful, though. They can have a certain plant spawn on their back that shoots little needles at you that hurt. Now, that does not sound very pleasant to me. But this is supposedly the sparse reef right in here where we are. Just kind of this area we're diving into. I hit a fish. And it did a little bit of damage. So, um, from my map, it also has uh, some wreckages here that we want to go check out. But mostly what we're here for is diamonds and this. Supposedly diamonds can spawn in this area. So this is one of the wreckages. Now, I think I'm going to leave you right there. What is that? Prawn suit torpedo arm fragment. What is a prawn suit? And how do I get one? It actually sounds pretty awesome. Um, Now, I've also been... Hold this sparse reef and the reef are generally moon pool fragment are generally safe areas what the hell is a moon pool oh I think I know what a moon pool is right so one of the structures I saw in Jack Septicai's video when I was watching him um, it was quite literally an area where you could go up in and like upgrade your sea moth and all that it's like the upgrade bay and now we can go craft one which is awesome. Um, I am also probably going to dedicate an entire video at one point here to 
actually like making a base instead of this little uh, thing that we got. Now, I'm getting a bunch of titanium, which I don't think I should do. There's a chair. Awesome. Uh, I think we should probably go check out the... What is it? If I can ever like use my mind and think. Check out the life pod that we came here for instead of scanning that. But a moon pool bay already? I didn't even realize that that would have been over here. I thought that was going to be like end game or maybe even in the aurora when we had to go do stuff in there but from what i can tell that life pod we got the other day uh the one that we never had a beacon for yeah that one's like supposed to be one of the ones that's driving us towards the aurora when we find out about stuff so there's like actual story progression in this game Remember and i skipped a chunk of it <laughs> Are the property of the All Terra Corporation. So wait, what? You will be liable to reimburse the full market price. Your current bill stands at three million credits. Wait, what? I owe you guys for all this stuff? What is this as well? That was a time capsule. What'd that give me? Rubies. What are rubies? Are you think are these things rubies? Okay, that's awesome. Egg. I should probably... It seemed like these, these black ones, these slate ones, they gave me diamonds. So I need to... Shale, not slate. Shale. Sorry. So that's the diamonds I came for in this area. What are you? Lithium. There's a lot of creature eggs here as well. I shouldn't fill up my inventory with creature eggs. I got one. That's good enough. Um... Now, I think what I should do... Is this lithium is one of the rare resources from what I've been told. So I should grab all that I can see. Which is quite a bit. But... PDA data. Second officer can... Integrate new PDA data. That's the second officer's voice log there. Um, You are one of the things that gives me high capacity tank. Nice. I just looked at my oxygen. But I, th I think that's essentially all the stuff I need from there. We gotta get to our Seamoth here. I got 10 seconds of oxygen. Get in. Ooh. Perfect. Alright, that's all I needed from there. Ow. Um, I wanna scan some more stuff, so... Dry land! Alright, so, never mind. I guess we are going to an island today. I guess spoiling it for me was... I legit spoiled 30 seconds of content. <laughs> or, uh, no, is it three minutes of progression? Like, I was almost there, right? Yeah, what's in here? Modification station fragment. That's awesome. Um, no signal. Should definitely check all these. If, if I can get a modification station... I believe that's how I get, like, the certain tools, like a hot knife. Now, apparently with a hot knife, if I swim around and say I smack a fish with it, um, it will cook the fish. So, that's another thing I saw in Jacksepticeye's videos. I've been watching Subnautica videos to get me, like, you know, somewhat acclimated and figured out what's going on. Alright, I watch Syntag videos for ARC, guys. Jeez, don't get mad at what's going on here. Am I not supposed to be able to get into this one? Laser cutter. Got it. Um, anything else here that looks of value? Really not seeing anything of... My general thing here is if it's glowing, go check it out. In which, that is a good idea because vehicle upgrade console. That's awesome. New blueprint acquired. Hydrochloric acid. Huh. That's awesome. So, um... I think before we go check out dry land, I should probably go clean out my inventory here. 30 seconds. Now, this is just, uh... So that way I don't, like, you know... Get too much stuff on me, then find something very important that I want to take with me and have to throw out stuff that I actually want to keep. 
but in terms of like actually heading out this way this area is a fairly safe place you know i feel safe over here i mean it gets dark and especially if you go up and look down it gets real dark because the guy's video that i watched on like how to get diamonds um he went over into the grand reef and man it was dark when you're looking down but once you're in there like it's yeah you know it's it's dark ish but it's not like pitch black you know not terrifying now he said that there are places on the map that are terrifyingly dark like uh what was it a place called the strider's path i believe if i'm remembering correctly strider's path it's like this area where uh these creatures walk by and they like poop out this very like nice fertilizer i think that you can use i might be completely wrong um disinfected water ration. ahead of time will help ensure against dehydration and eventual death open oh i can open a door Oh, I should have probably checked some doors if I can open ones. What is this anyways? Why am I even here? That's a laser door. This is another laser door. Uh, why did I even stop here? I don't know. I, I lost track of what I was doing while I was rambling. I'm, now I'm going to head back to the base. I almost rammed into that. My Seamoth is at 67%. Oh my. Also, apparently these caves lead into an area called the Mushroom Forest. Now, I'd like to go build a base down there at some point. Um, I do got to be careful, though, because there are something like worms. That's what uh, that's what killed Ozzy, were the worms from there. But apparently it's a small area and it has some resources in there. So we might go check that out at some point. But I 100% want to go and check out the um the island today i just ram my sea moth into my base that is awesome now not only did i just damage my sea moth i probably damaged Welcome my base board, somewhere Captain. no perfect okay lithium you can go in there diamonds i'll hang on to you for a second what do i need them for uh hydrochloric acid polymer uh, hydrochloric acid salt and what are those mushrooms Deep shrooms, okay. Um, then, of course, what a. I need the tools. A high capacity of oxygen tank. I feel like I learned a new blueprint, didn't I? What am I doing here? Uh, click that. As you can see, my body is like. or my mind is dying on me. I don't even know what I'm doing. So. I need some of my sulfur. Uh, you guys can all go in here. I'll drink both of you. Okay, and then we'll eat our food. I'm sorry, I was just reading all that because it had some weird stuff on it. Uh, now, what do I need for a battery? I should pin stuff, especially when I need it. So, I need laser cutter, but I also need for a laser cutter a battery. Now, I need mushrooms and copper. I got copper. I need just two mushrooms. Again, luckily, though, those are right outside my base. Um, also, if I seem like, like, spacey today um i'm sick if you can't tell i have a head cold and it is not pleasant but i still have to get a video here for friday which you guys are going to be watching and then once i have that for you guys i'm going to bed <laughs> uh and i am going to stay in bed for until i feel better do i not have copper that's gold that's why i thought gold was copper I mean, I feel so bad. Although they're probably about the same price now. Market value. Uh, laser cutter. Perfect. Now, that's awesome. So, let's finish cleaning out our 
inventory of stuff we do not need. Air bladder, you are essentially useless now. Fire extinguisher, you just take up space. Same with you. Okay. Now, I'd say before I go, can I craft anything new in the base? Um, wiring kit. Do I have the silver for the wiring kit? I don't believe I do. I have one chunk of silver. That's it. Okay, um, again, as well, uh, reach your eggs. You can go in here. I don't know what those are, but apparently there's a fish tank you can throw them in. Welcome aboard, Captain. Um, but for now, what I want to do is head out this way. We're going to head over here to this grassy plains area. Out this way. I know it's dark. It probably shouldn't do this at night, but it's the only time we got to. So we're going to head out here. We're going to cut our way into the sea moth uh, hangar. Over here where Ozzy died. And then, once we have cut into that, then we should head over to the island. What's that? I feel like I've headed in the wrong way. Lifepod 17. Okay, it's just dark. That's why I'm not recognizing anything. So, here's our first cutting door. Now, I'm pretty sure... Yep, that, that's just the other side of this. Now... This is technically our first cutting door. Where... Don't need the builder. You not a cutting door, you're not. Okay. Um, also, I got a radio message. Technically, as soon as I read that radio message, it does progress the story. See you. We are gonna ignore it until after this. I honestly thought that was a cutting door there that we were gonna be able to go through, but it's not. Are you? No. Is there anything out here with a cutting door? I know that those, uh... Those ones over by that life pod we were at definitely because it even told me like yo you have to have a cutter to get into this um i'm not seeing it why am i swimming off this way like my sea moths over here it's up here i'm gonna head for the island now i think that's what i should do um i should have also unpinned all that stuff at the Ooh, what was that what was that oh i don't know what i hit it scared me though that was scary. Now I gotta be careful because there's an area called the dunes that I could wander into. Uh... No, I shouldn't. I'd more like I'd pass over the blood kelp zone before I entered the sa the sand dunes. As I say that, it's starting to look like the sand dunes. Maybe, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know where I am. It's turning green. Okay, that's because there's kelp over there. I don't want to head into a danger zone. Not one bit. Pull up the map. And what I'm seeing here is that From that wreck I've gone through. I should be fine. I should be fine, especially if I'm heading surface level out. No. Hopefully dry land is not far. There it is. There's dry land. And it looks weird because there's no bottom. It's legit a floating island. Now, what I'm, I can tell 
This is like one of the only ways up over here. I just beached it, didn't I? Oh no. A sea moth might be stuck. Energy signatures on the island's surface. Multiple energy. That mean might there might be other guys. They could probably help me push it in. Are you serious? I can see my life pod from here. I could swear I almost just saw another land source from here as well. What's going? It's an eclipse. Solar eclipse. Look at that. Pull my HUD back up if it will let me. Thank you. No. Well, it's the lights from that. I guess we'll explore the island. See what's going on here. Hello? Anyone around? Got my scanner out. Voxel shrub. Uh, you would think for scanning all this uh, stuff that they would forgive my debt of three million dollars. What are these? It's wooden trees. Um, there's definitely like paths on this island. I'm wondering if there's pick up pink cap. We'll take a sample. Grub basket. What's this? Um, what are these? I see something over here as well. What is exterior grow bed? Somebody was growing plants here. They got melons as well um these are rusty as hell melon Near blueprint acquired alien flora sample i can consume you for food there's more things that they're growing here what are these china's potatoes Chinese potatoes? Is that what that is? Am I reading that correctly? Um. Of course we're taking samples. You gotta always, like, when you're researching or investigating. Bulb tree? You gotta take samples. Uh, you probably shouldn't be sampling it like I am. You know, taste testing it all out in the field. Um. That is what I want to go look at. Um, I've scanned a lot of the stuff already on this island. Now, wait, I could have sworn. Oh, there's two of them. Huh? I could have, like, I, I thought, like, hey, I could have sworn that was further away. No, there's two of them. Um, can I cut? Across? I'm definitely not cutting across this way. Uh, there's the PDA. I don't know what happened. There's definitely been one of the crew here. They left the PDA here. Of here, let, let's head up to this one. There's something right down here. Um, ooh, what is that? You guys see that, right? Oh, it's heading this way. Bring it. I can fight you, can't I? Thing in these crates. Stasis rifle. What is a stasis rifle? Well, I've just unlocked it, so it di I guess we'll find out here. Is it like a freeze gun? Oh! Here's one of the big uh, multi purpose rooms. I guess scanning this is going to help me make it. This is what I was holding off on before I went and built a base. And I guess we found it. Perfect. Multi-purpose. Nice. New blueprint acquired. Huh? Hi. What are you? You seem like you're not. You know, you're not attacking me. Cave crawler. Let's give you a scan. Nice. Is there a way into this? Um. Any hatches? 
I see a data pad. Oh, thank you, buddy. What is this? Purple tablet. Is this like an alien artifact? Integrating new PDA data. Wall plants. Nice. Let's scan those and then we'll head out. New blueprint acquired. Um. <gasps> bulkhead. <gasps> ow, ow, ow. Oh, you guys are vicious little maniacs. Ooh. That hurt. Is there a way to crouch and go in this? Nice. I feel like this is the way in. Jeez. Oh, nice. Ladder legit just teleports you down. Integrating new PDA data. Finish scanning the bulkhead. This looks like something to be cut that come in handy. It's probably to help like my base. Again, like what an actual bulkhead is. To help stop the base from flooding. Uh, battery, nice. Another PDA. Data. New PDA data. Oh, I can't go that way. What, what's going on? Like, I'm bouncy new everywhere. PDA data. I don't know. Um, let's head up to the top here and scan. See if there's any... Oh, uh, oh! You guys hurt. I don't want to fight you. I already cut one of you guys up. Ooh, cave. More like a hole. Um, how the hell am I supposed to do this? Um, I gotta get back on the path. There was an actual path that seemed like it was heading up that way. Yep, there it is. On the road again. Ooh, this, this road has cracks in it. Oh my, I just realized I pars paused my video and I'm so loopy from being sick that I, yeah. But I've already looked through all that when I scanned all the stuff here. Apparently there was another ship called the Danasi that crashed here. Um, and that these structures were built by their crew. And well, yeah. That's for what I've learned. And also I've gotten three uh, land species so far. Which is awesome. Now we're just running up here to the next tower in which... Indoor grow bed. Nice. That's what I was looking for. And then we have a bunch of the lantern fruit, of course. That we can eat. New blueprint acquired. Now, I want to go... Ooh, there's a PDA back there that I forgot. Now, it does appear that some of these pre placed structures are a little... Integrating new PDA to work data. Around, or to maneuver around. Um, but... What I want to do real quick is while we're on top of this mountain, like I did over there, uh, you guys didn't get to see it, but we're going to look around and see if there's any other structures, say, placed down and around. That almost fell. That was scary. Um, no, it looks like it's just these three bases. This, like, is the highest point, I believe, on the map as well. Um, is there nothing over there? It doesn't look like there's anything over there. Now, though, we do got the Aurora... Yeah, the arrival point for those guys. We can go check out. And if you can't tell, I'm getting really, like, loopy here. I'm, like, starting to lose my mind. I'm tired of being sick. Uh, went to go away. We're gonna... Yeah! Oh! Jump in without clipping the edge. Jeez. Integrating new PDA data. Rander's voice log. Okay, uh, where is that? We have to board the Aurora, repair the long-range comms, make contact with the other survivors. We can't be the only two that made it. Those are not the orders the captain gave me, and they are not the orders I'm giving you. This isn't chain of command, it's survival. My obligations as acting commander don't turn on their convenience. Get out of the water. If I get into trouble, I'll send you my coordinates. I can't let you go alone. Then come with me. You don't leave me much choice. Received emergency transmission from Second Officer Keen two hours after last activity. Rendezvous was a failure. Intercepted a transmission from Altera HQ. Seems they sent a data package to the Aurora. 
We were intercepted by a Leviathan class predator before we could reach the ship. A Leviathan Consider class the predator. And I lost at sea. Be safe. Keen. Out. Officer Keen la lost at sea. Oh my, I didn't think. What's a Leviathan class predator? Like, it's, they had to go to the Aurora, repair the communications, or, that's probably why that, oh, no, because they got the distress signal, they were trying to go repair it to get more of us here, I showed up just too late, and now they've gone to the Aurora and got attacked by something, because the Aurora, like, on my map is surrounded by reapers there's a, a like I know what the leviathans are right they are like the absolute boss creatures that are the predators in this game they'll basically one shot you um the aurora is surrounded by them it, these ones called reapers and apparently those ones are the worst of the worst um and apparently with the larger I've been told oh my god no it's I no no it's not it's beached it's beached how do I get it can I right. now escape unstuck damn it now where's my seam off oh it's right here I was hoping you could unstuck the seam off is there a crouch control <sighs> please move I need you to move. No. Why? Come on. Move. Come on! It's stuck. It is stuck, stuck. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this thing unstuck. Um. Damn it. <laughs> I don't know what to do.